Friday night baseball now from the Lone Star State and Minute Maid Park in Houston. It's the first of a brief two-game set between the Miami Marlins and the Houston Astros. David Boucher will get his first shot down, and he's seen that average climb a bit here recently thanks to what he's done over the course of these last five ball games. Rasmus at first, now the pitch. Here's a knuckle curve that backs him up a bit, ball one. And a big swing there as this is sent high and deep to left field. And I don't think this park or any other will hold that ball. That one is gone. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And the Astros take the lead. It's 2-1. to one. Well, it's just a little in, and not a terrible location, really. But if you're sitting on that pitch in that spot, you could certainly do some damage. And he absolutely did some right there. That's a two-run homer. David Boucher will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. David Boucher. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. See it drive it like you can. Let's go. Hey, let's go right here. Have a rip like you can. Here we go, Astro. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Now a swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on by Sizemore gets him one away. David Boucher will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. Knuckle curve breaks outside for ball one. We've talked about all the strikeouts. The only side effect is right there, though. He, he's run up a pretty high pitch count now. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Here comes the one-two. Out in front of the fastball here as this is drilled into left field. That's a base hit. And at this point, I don't think you could expect anything less than a two-hit ball game from this guy. I mean, he's been as hot as anybody lately, and he comes through again here. David Boucher will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Fastball, and he knocks this one into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. Yeah, he's swinging a pretty hot bat here. Three for four now after the base hit. That wasn't a little bleeder. That ball was smoked. wrap things up here what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our tops player of the game award yeah no question he was a tough out up there 
you see the three hits, including a home run. Without him in the First opened in the year 2000, a look there at Minute Maid Park here in downtown Houston. Today, the finale of this quick two-game series between the Miami Marlins and, and the Houston Astros. Houston Astros. And before we close in on first pitch, a look at the starting lineups here for the finale. And we'll also give you a quick look at our two starting pitchers as you see their numbers right there. David Boucher will stand in, and he was a big part of the win last night as he contributed three hits to his guy's effort. A dive, but he's back. And another throw over. And a dive, but he's back in there. Fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Water. Get the water. Go. Let's go, kid. Here we go. You're out here. All right, let's go. And a good swing there on one and oh, but this is in the air out to right field. And Stanton will put this one away, and the inning is over. David Boucher will stand in to start things out here in the Maybe home half the of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ball game to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. Let's go now. One time. Here's a swing and a ground ball. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Pitch in the dirt is swung on and missed, so he'll need to get the force at first. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout and a 2-3 to three put out for route number one. David Boucher will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Swing and a shot towards second, and there's a base hit, so a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. Pretty good swing there. You'll watch. Head stays down. Ball gets deep in the zone. And he lets those hands lead the way. And he drives it to right Not field. Bad. That's as right, good an approach fun. as you're going to see. David Boucher is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. He's thrown a lot of strikes. That's what you want. And that misses one and one. Here we go now. 
And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And this is swung on and missed, though the ball did hit the ground, so he'll need to go to first. And the throw to first will indeed... Time to hand out Topps Player of the Game honors for this one. And guys, I think we can all agree that this fellow right here deserves it more than anybody... That Just a block east of what once was Union Station, there's a look at Minute Maid Park here in downtown Houston. Tonight, it's the first of three to start the new week between and the Texas Rangers and their cross-state rivals, the Houston Astros. David Boucher will get his first shot now, and you can see how he's done over the course of this five-game hitting streak. David Boucher. And this will be fouled away. And there's a fastball that's hammered the other way to deep right field. And that will find the seats, a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 17 for him on the season. And the Astros have taken a 3 to nothing lead. David Boucher will see if he can do it again. He homered his first time around. David Boucher. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw to fielder at first will take care of him, and that'll be that. David Boucher will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Now the first pitch. And he gives this one a pretty good ride down the left field line. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. And you'd think for as hot as this guy's been over the last few games, they might be treading carefully. Uh-uh. They're coming right out. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. One, two. Now a ground ball for Andrus at short. This could be two. Profar for one. Back to fielder, but it's a bit too late as they just get the one. Yeah. 
David Boucher will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. David Boucher. Now a fastball skied out to Gomes in left. Two gone. A tightly contested ball game here, so it makes it hard to find our top player of the game, but I think this fellow right here would seem to be the lot. Tuesday night baseball now from the home of the Astros, Minute Maid Park in Houston. Here it's the second of this three-game set between the Texas Rangers and their cross-state rivals, the Houston Astros. David Boucher will stand in now. He homered in the ball game last night. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Kid, one time right here. Now a sharply hit ball back up the middle, and the Astros have their first hit of the contest. And he continues to hit the ball well as that'll push his hitting streak up to seven games now. David Boucher will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. Maybe these guys are going to start getting a little more aggressive here early in the count. This is the first pitch of the inning, and he's on base here to kick things off. David Boucher will dig in. He singled and later scored his last time. First pitch to him. And he puts a pretty good jolt into this one, high and deep to center. Martin retreats out near the hill in center field to make the catch. David Boucher will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Third baseman, David Boucher. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Oh. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. And he goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. And they'll get on the board after all. It's a home run. So a two-run shot to left center. Number 18 for him on the campaign. And they're now on the board, though still well behind. Wow. He has proven to be a real nuisance in the first two games of this series. A home run in last night's ball game, and now another one here.
And guys, the Rangers couldn't have done it tonight without the contributions of this player, Michael Bourne. He's our tops player of the game. It had been a National League city for a half century, but it's all about the junior circuit now at Minute Maid Park in Houston. It's the finale of this three-game series between the Texas Rangers and their cross-state rivals, the Houston Astros. David Boucher will stand in, and you see there he's been scorching hot these past few games. David Boucher. Now a ball hit high in the air, deep down the line in left, hooking just a little, and that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Well, these guys have one home run already, and this was nearly a second one here. You can see it bang off the wall out there on the fly, and he's going to wind up with a double, but he didn't miss a big fly by much. David Boucher will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. David Boucher. Get your pitch right here. Hey, get down here. Hey, let it fly, let it fly right here. Hey, get ahead. That's heading for the hole, and it'll indeed find the hole into right. He's two for two. It's a base hit. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. David Boucher will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. David Boucher. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Oh. hit in the air to left center. Gomes is underneath this one. And he's got it for out number one. David Boucher will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Left 
And here's a swing and a ball lifted in the air into fairly deep center field. Under it is Martin, and that's out number two. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? From the home of the Mariners since 1999, there's a look at Safeco Field here in Seattle. And let's also get a look at our two starters in this one, as you see a couple of right-handers getting the baseball. David Boucher will stand in, and he's been tearing the cover off the ball the past few days, as you see his numbers from the last five ball games. Now a sharply hit ball back up the middle. In there, a base hit. And a good at-bat there, as that, in fact, stretches his hitting streak out to nine games now. Colby Rasmus. David Boucher will stand in. A base hit his first time around. David Boucher. Hey, we got one here. Here we go, one time right now. Let's go. Iwakuma, a look to first. Don't want to forget about him. Hey, Come on, let one fly here. Let's go. And this ball will be chopped foul. Before the 0 1, he'll check on first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Now a throw over. A dive, but he's back. Here we go. Pick him up. Let's go. Here you go, guys. Let's go. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Here we go, guys. Hey, double him up. Let's go, go, guys. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. And he misses there. One and two. And even on one and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking here. You've got to put this ball in play. Now a fastball swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And that is over the wall. Home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. 19th home run for him on the season. And the Astros have taken a three-to-nothing lead. Boy, the, the ball is definitely jumping here early. That's the first home run we've seen so far, but it's not the first hard-hit ball. And it's looking like it might not be such a good night to be a pitcher. David Boucher will stride in again as first we flash you back to his at-bat in the fourth inning, and what a big one it was. 
a three-run home run that was certainly one of the big blows in the ballgame to this point. Prior to the at-bat, a check on first. And he's back in standing. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. One zero on the way. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And pretty fortunate here as they do wind up getting the out at first, although the runner will advance to second. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with our this man right tonight. here? He's our top. Now from Safeco Field in Seattle, MLB The Show is on the air. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the American League's Houston Astros and the Seattle Mariners. David Boucher will stand in, hoping to just keep riding the hot streak. He's been an exceptionally tough out these last six ball games. And this is lined into left field for their first hit of the ball game. And make it an even 10 games in a row he's hit in now as that bat has really come alive of late. David Boucher will dig in. He singled his first time around. David Boucher. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. One and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Wait for your pitch up there. Hey, be patient, be patient. Get yours. Now here it comes. Hey, come on now. Here we go. Missed with a knuckle curve there, and now it's three and one. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters' counts. This is where you need to pounce. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Hits are now even at four apiece. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. And for as hot as this guy's been recently, <laughs> this is a no-brainer. Take the bat out of his hands any chance you get. David Boucher will now dig in. He walked and later scored baseman. last time. David Boucher. Hey, come on, guys. Hey, guys, 
First pitch coming. Fouled back. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is... David Boucher will stand in, needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. David Boucher. And this is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Here we go. Hey, hit me a seed right here. Where's that one now? Oh, oh. Uh, he took a big swing that time as he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. Morrison is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. We're winding down here on the MLB pregame show as we count down to the final game of this three-game set. But before we take you to the action, the latest installment of the Topps Player Spotlight. David Boucher is highlighted here as he enters this game riding a 10-game hitting streak. Steve, what do you think about his chances of extending it in this game? Well, Matt, we all know that these streaks are always tough to keep going, especially when people start to catch on that they're actually happening. Plus, the pressure just keeps rising the longer they get. Now, this isn't really that long a streak by any means, so I doubt that he's feeling any pressure yet. I think he's just really having fun with it. But if he continues to stick to that same approach he's had over the last 10, I think he's got a good shot to keep it going for a little while longer. And, you know, it always helps if you get that hit out of the way in your very first at-bat. So we'll see if he can get that done in this one. All right. Pre-game festivities are wrapping up. It's time for baseball, and we'll have it for you next. Now from Safeco Field in Seattle, MLB The Show is on the air. David Boucher will dig in now. One home run shy of 20 for the season so far. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. Ruggiano is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. Well, this is a home run swing and it looked like he thought he had one off the crack of the bat. But this place, not exactly known for being a home run haven. And this ball dies out there on the warning track. David Boucher will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. David Boucher. First pitch of the inning is bounced up the middle, and they're going to get themselves a base runner rather quickly here as that's into center field for a leadoff single. Yeah, nothing too special about a ground ball single up the middle here, but if you keep putting the ball in play like they've been doing, good things have a tendency to happen. We'll see if this gets them started.
David Boucher will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. David Boucher. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. In there, and he's in control 0-2 oh, now. Oh, tough pitches here, back to back. And now he's not going to give him anything good with a runner at second base. Wait for your pitch up there. Here we go. Hey, you can do it. Right. One better. Let's go. And this is fouled back and out of play. And, oh, this one's by him to the backstop. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. With two outs already, this isn't the end of the world from a defensive perspective, but now at least you bring in the possibility of an infield single, a booted grounder, or even another wild pitch bringing that run home. Here's another one, too. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. On to Morrison at first, and that ends the inning. David Boucher will step in. A ground out victim as last time. David Boucher. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. Hey, we got nobody, no one down here. Here we go, guys. Let it fly. Let's go. Trust your stuff right here. And this will be fouled away. Hey, get one up there, huh? Let's go, man. Oh, fellas, let's go. And that's let's go. high for a ball. It's two and two. The ball flying around the yard in this one, as you see so far there. Reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. So a good offensive showing for these guys, but if we had to pick one player that stood out, that's our man right there. He's our Now from the home of the Rangers, there's a good look at Globe Life Park here in Arlington. Tonight it's the first of four between the American League's Houston Astros and their newly minted in-state division rivals, the Texas Rangers. David Boucher will dig in now. One home run shy of 20 for the season so far. Gets under this one as this is hit high and pretty deep out there to center field. 
And two quick outs here in the second. That ball was hit well, and it might have been a different story if he pulled it. Instead, he hit it to the big part of the ballpark, and he's retired. David Boucher will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Hey now, the pitch count there. One pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. 2-0 and now. Well, he almost hit him on the last pitch, and he's showing he doesn't care. He's coming right back inside. Now a ball lined to the right side, and that's in there. Base hit. And that hitting streak of his continues to grow as it's reached an even dozen ball games now. Number 18. David Boucher will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. David Boucher. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is David Boucher will step in, a ground out victim as last time. David Boucher. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Well, runs at something of a premium here in this matchup, so it doesn't make it quite as hard to find our top player of the game. Now from the home of the Rangers, there's a good look at Globe Life Park here in Arlington. Tonight, the second of four between the American League's Houston Astros and their newly minted in-state division rivals, the Texas Rangers. And we'll also give you a quick look at our two starting pitchers as you see their numbers right there. David Boucher will stand in, hoping to just keep riding the hot streak. He's been an exceptionally tough out these last six ball games. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Now a move over to first. And he's back in standing. And again, a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. And again, a throw. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Good, sharp curveball there. The count one and one. Yeah, 
A, a great sell job behind the plate, too. He sort of gently moved that glove back over an inch or two as he was catching that baseball. And this will be fouled away. Runner at first here, one man out. Hey, ground ball right now. Come on, big guy, stay out of there. Swing and a line drive to left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. And you got to think about the time of night out there. You've got shadows still lingering a little bit. The lights haven't quite taken full effect yet, but he's all over this one and he takes it down easily. David Boucher will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. David Boucher. Now a hard liner towards short. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. And the runner will hold at second, so two on with nobody out. And that'll extend his hit streak as well as he's now reached a Baker's dozen, 13 ball games. David Boucher will stand in. He's one for two so far. David Boucher. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. One out, nobody on. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here we go. Come on now. One time. So get your pitch here squared up. Well. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And this is handled easily, so quickly two are gone here to start the fifth. David Boucher will stand in. He flew out his last time up. David Boucher. Hey, come on now, guys. Told him. Let it fly, big guy. Here we go. Runner away from third. Now the pitch. Oh, and he goes the other way with a fastball. He drives it out to deep right center field. And this is going to get down for extra bases, and they've hung an eight spot on him so far. And he is in to second base with an RBI double. Well, that's what he's done well all season. And that's swing the bat with runners in scoring position. He drives in another one here on the RBI double. David Boucher will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. David Boucher. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you got to leave alone and make him bring something down. Come on, baby. And he lays off for ball one. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. A high fastball that time in the strike zone and on the outside corner. But that is a dangerous spot to be pitching if you're only throwing in the low 90s. And a little tapper up the line, but this will wind up a foul ball. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Now a swing and a fly ball hit fairly well out to deep center field. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. That ball was hit well, and it might have been a different story if he pulled it. Instead, he hit it to the big part of the ballpark, and he's retired. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player.
It's time now for baseball from the great state of Texas and Globe Life Park. Tonight it's game three of this four-game set. And let's not forget our two starting pitchers as you see how they match up for this one. David Boucher will stand in for the first time now. And boy, look at these numbers the last seven games. He's as hot as anyone in baseball. Now a ball hit high and deep out there to left center field. Martin is in retreat as he pulls it in for the first out. And he'll make it back to third safely and be content just to advance the 90 feet. Good job there at second base of doing the math in his head and figuring out he can make it up to third. So that puts runners on the corners now with only one away. First pitch on the way. Swing and he takes this the other way to right, but he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. David Boucher will stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Find some green, baby. Find some green. Good job, Ah, he can't get him to bite this time. It's 1-2. and two. Yeah, a smart pitch there. If you've got him to reach for it 0-1, maybe he'll do it again 0-2. Swing and a high pop drifting into foul territory. Mejia is out of the crouch and he stays with it for route number one. David Boucher will bat now. He popped out in foul ground last time. Now the first pitch. He's running towards second. A pitch out. The throw. And they'll nail him at second on a brilliant... David Boucher will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. David Boucher. Hey, nobody out now. Water. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Hey, let's go right here, huh? Hey, here we go. Here we go. Pick it up. Let's go. Wait for your pitch up there. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. And this is going to find its way into left for a base hit, and the leadoff man's aboard to start the eighth. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? MLB The Show has baseball from the Lone Star State as we get a look inside Globe Life Park. Today, it's the finale of this four-game set between the American League's Houston Astros and their in-state division rivals, the Texas Rangers. David Boucher will stand in for the first time now, and he's been hot as a firecracker of late, and he's seen that average shoot up quite a bit these past eight ball games. First pitch coming. 
Swing and a line drive to left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. David Boucher will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Hey, double him up. Let's go. Hey, let's go, big fellow. Need you right here. Hey, need you right here. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Got to be careful here with a run in already. You don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility of a double play. There's a big swing, and he gives this one a ride high and deep to right center. And the route is on now. It's a home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center, and even 20 home runs for him now thus far. And it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. Well, this place has a reputation as being a launching pad, and it ain't hard to see why. That's already three balls that have left the yard so far, and I would doubt sincerely that'll be the last. David Boucher. We'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five. Boucher. Come on, big guy. See it. Drive it. Right here. Come on. Let it fly. Hold him right here, guys. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. And a fastball mm, just misses. It's one and one. And with two walks in the inning already, he can't afford to fall behind anybody else if he wants to stay in the game. Now a hard liner towards short. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the... David Boucher will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Oh. Oh. Let it fly, let's go. Trust your stuff right here, let it fly. Hey, plays it one now. Let's play smart out there. Plays it one now. Here we go now. And he misses low with it, 2-0. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in a strike zone. Come on, let it rip right here. Oh, and he turns another one around here. This one to deep left center field. And his fine ball game will continue. Give him another home run. So a three-run shot to left center, his second of the game, as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Yeah, make it four home runs as a team now after that last one, and this guy's led the way with two of those four. I tell you, I wouldn't give this guy anything to hit next time around. He's as locked in as you can get. David Boucher will get another shot at it here as we take you back to inning number seven. This was his second home run of the ball game, as he'd like nothing more than to make it three right here. Guys, let's go. Hey, we got 
Now the first pitch. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. And that's probably going to be his final at-bat, so you figure he won't get his third home run of the game, but still... He's been a real handful here in this one. Time to hand out Topps player of the game honors for this one. And guys, I think we can all agree that this fellow right here deserves it more than anybody that took the field in this one. Yeah, he delivered more than once with runners in scoring position. Finished with...
Welcome back. I'm Matt Vaskersian here on the MLB pregame show. As we draw closer to the first pitch in this series opener, let's have a look at our tops player spotlight. David Boucher is in the glow. And guys, he's got a pretty nice hitting streak going right now. He's up to 15 games coming into this one. Yeah, Matt, he's definitely been feeling it up there, and it's been fun to watch. Looks like he's keeping it simple and seeing the ball very well. Sometimes you just get in a zone for a while, so I hope he stays in it for this one. Well, you know, I just like the confidence he has clearly taken with him to the plate every time he goes up there. He just flat out looks like he's going to get a hit every time he digs into that box. And you know what? A pitcher can feel that too. Now, no one likes to face a guy who looks completely at ease and sure of himself at the plate, and that's who this guy is right now. And if he keeps that up, this streak could carry on for a long time. All right, the guys and I will be back to get this one started on the show right after this. And now your 2016. David Boucher will dig in now, and he's probably been the toughest out on the ball club of late as you see the sizzling numbers there in these last nine games. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Center field. Trout is there, two gone. David Boucher will try it again. He flew out his first time. And this ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Calhoun is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Well, we're, we're still looking for that first run of the ball game. Thought for a second this might be it, but, but it just didn't have enough steam behind it. David Boucher will stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. And here's a ball hit in the air. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. I don't think this will be scored in there, but to me... You've got to be able to feel the position. You've got to be ready for those comebackers. I mean, it's one thing if it's a rocket back at you, but this one's not hit all that hard, and it still winds up kicking off his glove. David Boucher will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. Trout retreats out near the hill in center field to make the... And guys, you can't win if you can't score, so there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home top's player of the game honors in this one. 